how to make a running animation in Abyss Pen X and Fiberclip. Before we begin, this video is divided into three parts and this is a continuation of part 1. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, please pause and watch it first. Before we start, in case you missed it, in the previous video we have rendered the animated sketch in PNG format using Paperclip. Now where can you find the PNG results? Let me show you. Open the files app on your phone and go to internal storage, then scroll down and find documents and then the Paperclip folder, tap on it and you will see a zip file containing the render animation results. Just tap on it and unzip it to access your PNG files. As you can see, each PNG file represents one frame of your animation. You can preview them by swapping left or right. Now that we have our PNG files ready, let's move on to Abyss Pen X. Abyss Pen X is a free drawing app that allows you to create amazing artworks with various tools and features. We will use it to draw, color, and edit our animation. The first step is to create a new canvas with the same size as your animation in Paperclip. To do that, tap on the plus icon at the top right corner of the screen, then press 1920 by 1080 pixels. You should now see a blank canvas with our chosen size. Step 2, we import 6 PNG frames from Paperclip into Abyss Pen X. We will use only 5 PNG frames as the 6th and 3rd frames are the same. So, we will use only 5 PNG frames. If it's done, I will insert my character's color palette under the first frame because I will be using my cat OC, Cyan, in this animation. If you have your own character, you can use your character or other characters from movies, shows, or games you like. The important thing is to make sure there is a color palette, add a layer for drawing the outline above frame 1, add a group folder and put the outline layer in the first group folder so that the layers look neat and not too many. If you want to see the layers, we can open the folder. After finishing, if not needed, we can close the folder. Next, reduce the size of the brush pen to 3.0. If someone asks what brush do I use, I usually use the deep pen soft brush. It's standard. Once you've selected the brush, I'm going to change the black color to a dark blue color. To start drawing the first frame, first we draw the head, then we draw the eyes, then the nose, mouth, and cheeks too. I'll move the head down a bit. Okay, let's draw the chin. I'll move the head again. Add the neck. And then add a nose. And of course, his smirky smile. Give highlights to the eyes. And then I draw the ears. Okay, um, let me fix the hair first. Once I'm done, let's draw the back hair. Okay, the head is done. Now, create a new layer under the head outline layer. Add a new folder and put the new layer into the folder. Next step, we're going to draw the body. I'm gonna draw his hoodie on the shoulder because he wears a hoodie jacket. Then, draw the hoodie jacket. Draw the pockets too. Next, draw the shoulders. And finally, the back of the hoodie. Once it's done, create another folder, reload the layer, and add new layer under the new folder. After that, close all folders and create a new folder on top of the first folder. Then add those three folders into the new folder. Add another folder above the body folder and add a new layer into the new folder. Move that one folder below the body folder to under the head folder. Now we will draw the arms. First, I draw the right arm, draw the wrist and the forearm. Now I'm going to draw the right hand and draw the right upper arm on top of this layer. Next, I'll draw the left hand, draw the thumb, and then the fingers. It seems too big. I'll make it smaller a bit. Okay, that should be enough. Then draw the wrist and forearm of the left hand. Go back to the upper arm folder and draw the left upper arm. Alright, the hands outline are finished. Next, we will draw the legs. Let's start with the right leg, draw the shoe, then the shoelaces, next the back of the shoe, then draw the knee in the forearm folder, by the way this character wear pants, press the lasso tool and draw a circle around the knee, then copy and paste the knee and move it to the left for the left knee. After that, now let's draw the left thigh, erase a bit at the end and draw a slightly curved line for the bottom area. 
Next, draw the left thigh on the shoe layer. Let's go back to the right thigh layer and draw the bottom area. After that, let's fix the knee. Okay, I'll move the position of the knee down a bit. Next, I'll draw the left shoe stepping on the floor. Now we make a new folder and layer below the leg folder to draw the tail. The tail goes down like he's about to run. Next, I will color this character. Add a layer below the head outline layer. Press the eyedropper and I will select the min color. Hide all the folders by clicking the eye icon but don't delete them. And don't worry, the folders can be shown again. Create a line below the layer. Then color the head with the color selected from the bucket. After that, press alpha lock so that when making lines with color, the part to be colored will not go beyond the outline. Now I use white or cream color for the cheeks or mouth. The inner ear is also colored. Um, hold up, I'll fix the neck part of the drawing. Next, I'll choose a darker mint color, then color the other part of the ears. I will also color the iris with the darker mint color because this character is based on a regular cat type. Then color the eyes with broken white color. Fill the iris with light blue. After that, color the nose with pink. Lastly, I will fix the color of the neck. Now the head is done. Hide the head folder and open the body folder. Next, I will color the hoodie jacket. Color the jacket with red. Then make a curved line with dark purple on the hoodie and color it. Also color the bottom part of the jacket. Color the inside of the hoodie with red. And okay, the body is colored. Now I will color the shoes. I color it with red first. The colors of the shoes are the same as the colors of the jacket. Then color it with purple. After that, add white color. Color the tail with the darker mint color. Okay, this looks good now. Now I will color the hands. And then the right knee. The important thing when coloring is to use the layer that is below the outline layer, not on the outline layer. Okay, the right knee is already colored. Now I will color the left forearm with gray. Then color the right forearm. Okay, that's good now. Next, let's color the left knee. After that, the right thigh. Then the left thigh. Okay, the legs, tail, body, and head are all colored. So we just need to color the upper arms with gray. Color the left upper arm first. After that, the right upper arm. And frame 1 is done. Let's skip to frame 3. Create a new folder and layer above frame 3. Then I will start drawing the body first. The body is slightly leaning downwards because when people are running, their bodies go up and down. The same thing happens when walking. Okay, next I'll draw the pockets on the jacket. Then the hoodie. After that, I will color the jacket. I use red color, then purple, purple again for the outer part of the hoodie, then red for the inside of the hoodie. Don't forget to color the left arm shoulder with gray. Now frame 3 has been complete. Now we move on to frame 4. I will start by drawing the outline of the body, the chest first. Then the back, the body is made to turn slightly to the left. Don't forget to draw the pockets. Then draw the back of the hoodie. Draw two lines on the body to make it look like it's turning to the left. After the body outline is done, we add a layer for color under the outline layer. Next, I color the body with red. Then the hoodie and the bottom jacket are colored with purple. And okay, the body is done. Now I just need to draw his tail, so let's create two more frames for the tail. Create a folder first, I'll lower the opacity a bit so that the previous tail can be seen. Then add no layer below the new folder. Next, I draw the second tail frame on the new layer. The tail is drawn upwards. After that, add another layer below the outline layer. 
then hide the previous tail folder. Don't forget to put both layers into the folder. Now I color the tail with a dark mint color below the outline layer. The second tail frame is done. Next, let's draw the tail for the tail frame. As usual, create a new folder and layer for it. I lower the opacity so we can see the previous tail drawing. Then draw the third tail frame in a new layer. The tail shall be drawn with a slight curve like a snake. After that, hide all the tail folders, then add a layer below the outline layer and color the tail. And okay, the tails are done. I think I won't draw all the frames because the legs, arms, head, and other body parts can still be used for animation. Um, I'll draw the left ear of this character so it doesn't look flat or only have one ear. After that, I'll color the left ear. There we go. Once everything is finished, save all the body parts one by one in order from frame 1 till frame 4. Not random so you won't be confused. And that concludes part 2 of the tutorial. We have finished up to this point. In the third part, I will explain how to make animation from IBSpan X to Flipperclip. If you want to see all the body parts, please check in your gallery. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks for watching.